when will your Boston Terrier puppy stop growing and reach full adult size? In this video, I'm gonna cover the weight of a Boston Terrier as well as the size once it reaches full adulthood based on the breed standard. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. This is your place for everything Boston. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com, and in today's video, I know a lot of you are thinking about getting a Boston Terrier for the very first time, and I just wanna talk about the size. Because whenever you're choosing a dog, any type of dog, you know, in this case, size does matter because if you live in an apartment, that's gonna determine, well, I have seen people with bull mastiffs living in an apartment, but that's besides the point. You wanna find a dog that's gonna fit your lifestyle and your needs. The Boston Terrier, based on the breed standard, is basically, once it's a little puppy, you're gonna get it probably around the 12 week mark, right? It could be anywhere from four and a half, maybe 10 and a half pounds, depending on the size. From there, it's gonna reach full adulthood around the 12 to 14 month mark. The size of it's gonna depend on a couple different factors, but basically 10 pounds to 25 pounds is the range for a full grown Boston Terrier. The three things that are gonna affect this is number one, what size were the parents, right? Big parents, it's gonna have big offspring. Little parents, little offspring. Number two, body composition. Is the Boston muscular? Because if that's the case, it could be a heavier Boston. Number three is weight control. How much are you feeding your Boston Terrier? Because if it's overweight, obviously it's gonna be a bigger Boston, right? So for a personal story, Bella, she happened to be overweight. Whenever we got her, she was, I don't remember if she was eight weeks or 10 weeks old, but she could literally fit in the palm of my hand. I feel like whenever I remember back, she was less than half a pound. We never weighed her or anything at that point, but I, just holding her in the palm of my hand, that's what it felt like. Fast forward a few years, we finally got her spayed. And whenever that happened, and this just a little side note, when you spay or neuter a dog, it's gonna gain weight of some sort. And that's what happened to Bella. She was hovering around the 23 pound mark. And then once we spayed her, she shot up to 28 pounds. Emily says 30, so, or I say 30, Emily said 28. We're gonna go with 28. The vet at that point was like, look, she's overweight. You need to do something about it. When you're talking about 28 pounds, if your Boston needs to lose two pounds, three pounds, three pounds is over 10% of her whole body weight at that point at 28 pounds. So we had to do something a little drastic, but basically just cut her food intake. Could have taken her more walks, that would also help, but something to eliminate that overload in calories. More calories, more weight. So what we did, we went from, we were feeding her a half a cup in the morning and a half a cup in the afternoon. We just went down to a third a cup. We probably started that, I wanna say, it was over five years ago, and she still maintained that body weight. I can't remember the exact weight she was at her last appointment. I wanna say it was 23 pounds and she stayed that way consistently. So as long as you're consistently feeding your Boston the same diet and doing the same activity, it's gonna maintain its weight. I hope that gives you an idea of the size of a Boston Terrier. Now it could range, remember those three things, body composition, what the parents look like, what you're feeding it, that's gonna affect this overall size of your Boston, but it's gonna fit within that 10 to 25 pound range. My question to you is, what kind of videos do you wanna see here on this YouTube channel? Just leave them in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys have in mind and I'll try to produce it for you. Cause once again, I know some of you are in that beginning stages of should I even get a Boston? So I can do more videos just like this, giving you quick answers and hopefully helping you in your decision process on whether or not this is the perfect breed for you or this isn't the breed for you. Either way, I wanna make sure you get a dog that fits your lifestyle and your family's needs. The next video that I have coming up is Are Boston Terriers Great for Families? You can check out that video here. It's gonna pop up on the screen right there or right there somewhere. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, life is better with a Boston.